Right, you men are lucky. Stagecoach got these when they had a chance before TFL made it a rule that all companies have to get the facelift electroliners only. Because you know the non-facelift electroliners like this one are still available right now. Right Boss haven't done a thing where they, you can do facelift only now. It's only for London. TFL have made it a rule for like, visibility on the road. Even though I think you can already see clear, clear enough of these lot on the road. TFR basically made it a rule that companies can only get these. Eight two zero zero five. So TFR basically made it a rule that you can only get them lot. Um, no, not them lot. The facelift lot, the ones with the the non-curved window, just fully square, and then. Yeah, okay, so basically what's going on here? What's going on? Let me explain it to you. So you see first year, first outside of London year. I mean, they don't even exist in London anymore, but... Oh, well. well first outside of London year, you'll notice their 24 plate electron. They still have the non facelift front. And so do their GB kites. None of them have the facelift bumper. Now, the non facelift uh, electron is in London. The reason they don't have any facelift unlike the new ones now London's getting it's because uh, TFL didn't make it a rule before that um, so basically TFL have made it a rule now that companies have to get facelift ones for visibility on the road because of the window the way the window is shaped because right boss they shape the window differently now it's, it's basically for like ec um, better visibility on the road even though I'm actually I'm not a driver myself so I'm not going to say anything I'm not going to say how it was for a driver but if TFL really think this is better for visibility, then... Okay, they're doing it for visibility so people are safe on the road, so I respect that. So I'm not going to complain, you know. It's not a rule for right boss themselves, it's just a rule for TFL. So bosses in other areas outside of London, they don't have to follow it. It's just TFL bosses that have to follow it. So unfortunately, uh, companies can only get the flat, the flat, like the, the companies can only get that shit window design for their electroliners in London or any right boss that's in the Gemini 3 electroliner, or, um, the Gemini 3 street deck the street, no no because the, the electric line is actually in street deck form if you didn't know so any boss that's in the street deck or the street deck or gb form any boss that's in the gb or street deck form has to have the facelifted window designer the new facelifted one Drivers, if you're watching this, let me know. Do you think this new front, yeah? That wasn't the new front, but if you know what I'm talking about, yeah? Do you think the new front, like, just look at face, okay, search up facelift electroliner. You might not see it because it's still a new thing. It's still a new thing, so it might not pop up. I mean, give it, like, a year or two, and then it should start popping up facelift electroliner. Actually, nah, there's none that have actually entered service that are facelift electroliners. So it's most likely not going to pop up. Oh, my bad then. I mean, actually, there's the only ones that have entered service are the ones in Oxford. Um, for Go North something. London's ones haven't entered yet. Especially Metroline's demo one. There's a demo one Metroline have. Metroline got a... Metroline one... Metroline actually got a facelift one early. I don't... I... I I don't know why it works. Do the companies do they pay extra for the buses or something? Because there's a reason why Metro Line only get the electric liners and go ahead and only get the and drive 400 EVs. I think it's like their bodies with the manufacturers and they create a partnership or something. So they get to get their buses like for um, a certain amount percent off 
I mean, it's interesting how this business thing works because I've heard that actually works, you know, like with these contracts and shit. Like, sometimes the manufacturers, like, it's a bit with sport car racing, yeah. When, like, when, man, when, like, with the races, yeah, in the sports, con the racing contracts, yeah, sometimes the racers get to get, like, different cars, like, for uh, a certain amount of percentage off. I think that's how it works. In like racing, some races, there's like contracts for the racing, like car racing, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong, get it? But, you know, that's how you learn at the end of the day, so I'm not ashamed of saying, I'm not ashamed of saying what I think, innit?